Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details and today we are going to prepare the Focus to get it ready for the first track day and by the looks of it, we'll be removing the rear seats. When pushing your car to the limit on a track day, it is absolutely vital to check it over first. Safety whilst racing should be the utmost priority, so if you ever take your car on the track, then hopefully by seeing how I prepare mine for the track will help you to keep safe. I've recently had the new coilovers fitted, wheel spacers and the rear tyres so I do have some dampening adjustments to make in order to get it set up for the track and also those tyre pressures and wheel bolts need to be checked, plus a few other things which we'll get to shortly. I guess you can call this a modification which is the easiest and cheapest way of getting your car to go a little faster which is by making it lighter. I was so shocked by the weight of those rear seats in the Mark II RS but it made the bull ache of getting them out seem worthwhile. I'd hazard a guess of those seats plus the rear carpet weighs the same as a small person. seats out. Why? A little bit lighter, a little bit louder. Hear the exhaust a bit more. It's too quiet at the moment. Not when you're giving it a sticky weight, do you? Well, put the, weight, put, put the bloody window down. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Uh, how do you go about removing that? No idea, never took them out. You've not seen it on other cars before? Why are they, why are they hooked in or something? But yeah. I don't know whether it's like a clip. I was hoping it would be like a 10 minute thing. It probably is if you know how to do it. Just, just twist it in front of you. I don't know. I've never done one of these. Um, so you yeah, just have to fold the seat upright and then it'll just pull out. I think that's what you do. Fold the seat back up. Now try lifting it. No, it's still clipped in, is it? No, maybe not then. It's only just to press some of that down. There's still bolted down there, isn't it? If you put the bolt up there, there's still a bolt in that side. There's a bolt this side that we can't get to. When the seats were out I was able to see the mess that was underneath and whilst trying to fight my OCD due to the 3pm departure time for the track day was fast approaching, I couldn't help myself but give the areas a light clean and vacuum. George the Hoover in Maguire's last touch detail spray plus some frantic vacuuming and cleaning did the job nicely.
BC Racing coilovers have dampening adjustment and they have been set to the softest setting when installed. As they are, I would say they are fractionally harder than standard shocks and springs, so they obviously need to be stiffened up for the racetrack. In total, those little dials on the top of the struts have 31 settings, so 31 clicks. I went for 13 clicks on the rear and 20 clicks on the front. Since driving the car with it on this setting, I'm going to dial it up to 27 on the front and 20 on the rear to make it a little bit stiffer. The next steps for the track day preparation is to check all fluid levels. The Focus was serviced something like a week before the track day, so it goes without saying that my oil was looking good. The other fluids that I was able to check were the radiator fluid, power steering fluid, brake fluid, and I then continued to check over the engine bay for any obvious signs for concern. Although a little dirty, my engine bay is looking sweet. The coilovers on the front were wound up to stiffness setting 20. Make sure that all of your wheel bolts are at the correct torque setting as you certainly don't want one of those flying off whilst you're on the racetrack. A few good tools to take with you are a foot pump so you can play around with your tyre pressures. When tyres are incredibly hot, like what they will be on the racetrack, they will expand quite a bit. A torque wrench to check the wheel bolts halfway through the session is a good idea, and of course a tyre pressure gauge. Other things to remember are your towing guys, because you definitely need your towing guys. That pretty much sums up my track day preparation, inclusive of the latest focus washing video as I couldn't take it down to Donington Filthy. So stay tuned for the next couple of videos, because it will be me and the car thrashing around on the racetrack. As always, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe for lots more content, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, just search JP Details. Please visit the JP Details online store as I have recently added a few more products, I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.